have a good day. Good day, LA Beast here. And about a month ago on Netflix, I watched a documentary called The Movies That Made Us. And in particular, they did an episode on the 1987 movie Dirty Dancing starring Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey. To where, in 1963, Frances Baby Houseman, a sweet daddy's girl, goes with her family to a resort in upstate New York's Catskill Mountains. Baby has grown up in privileged surroundings and all expect her to go on to college, join the Peace Corps, and save the world before marrying a doctor just like her father. Unexpectedly, Baby becomes infatuated with the camp's dance instructor, Johnny Castle, a man whose background is vastly different from her own. Baby lies to her father to get money to pay for an illegal abortion for Johnny's dance partner, Penny. She then fills in as Johnny's dance partner, and it is as he is teaching her the dance routine that they fall in love. It all comes apart when Johnny's friend falls seriously ill after her abortion, and Baby gets her father who saves the girl's life. Father then learns what Baby's been up to, who with, and worse, that he funded an illegal abortion. He bans his daughter from any further association with those people. In the first deliberately willful action of her life, Baby later sneaks out to see Johnny, ostensibly to apologize for her father's rudeness, and ends up consummating her relationship with Johnny. A jealous fellow vacationer sees Baby sneaking out of Johnny's bungalow the next morning, and in an act of retribution tells management that he's responsible for a theft the evening before, and because he wanted to receive the rest of his paycheck, Johnny agrees to leave quietly over the theft allegations. But Baby comes to the rescue by telling her father that she in fact knows that he didn't steal the wallets because she slept with him the night before, to where all hell breaks loose between Baby and her father. But then Johnny comes busting through the doors at the end of the movie, says nobody puts Baby in the corner, they do their famous dance moves, and the father says, when I'm wrong, I admit that I'm wrong, and everything is all happy and great. And that's that. And at the end of the episode, they did a then and now of what things look like 33 years later, the filming locations for Dirty Dancing. And at the very end, one of the women who actually produced the movie went into the lake where they did the famous lift scene and she pointed out these cinder blocks to where they actually filmed that lift scene. And in the back of my head, I thought to myself, I want to stand on those cinder blocks where Patrick Swayze once stood. So what I did, because I'm an absolute psycho, was watch Dirty Dancing about 18 to 27 times. And in the process, I studied all of the shots that were actually filmed at the Mountain Lake Lodge in Virginia. And then I studied the scenes that were actually filmed in North Carolina at a Boy Scout camp, such as the famous stair scene with Jennifer Grey, to where I compiled a list of about 18 to 19 different filming locations. And my goal was to capture each and every single filming location exactly how it was filmed back in 1987, uh, here in the year 2020, to where I feel like I was pretty successful. So I hope you can sit back, relax, and enjoy uh, as I take you through each shot in sequence uh, it's kind of like you're actually going to watch the movie as we go along here. Uh, and I'm also going to sing uh, and add voiceovers uh, to where, again, because I, I watched Dirty Dancing about 27 times, uh, I know all of the words to the movie now. Now, the Mountain Lake Lodge is located in Pembroke, Virginia. And in order to get to this lodge, it's on the top of a mountain, and you have to drive 15 minutes to get there. And I was expecting to see, boom, this entrance uh, but this is actually as you can see right now it's just a little walkway that leads to cabins uh, so it's a little bit deceiving the entrance is actually right near the main building now uh, you can see the the father and the family driving up in their car and that little cabin with the red roof is actually the same and the white pillars off to the right are also there 33 years later uh, this is the main yard uh, and in the background and that's actually baby's cabin uh with the green roof now this is the main building and pretty much everything is the same and i lined up all my shots based on the stone but you can see the little archway off to the right there uh, which i used to line up to exactly where baby and her family parked their car as they entered all right day two uh, i'm excited to go out and film the locations uh, i just want to show you this beautiful shot that we have here uh, from the room Yep. All right, so f you, fog. Ping pong in the West Arcade. Softball in the East Diamond. All you Sandy Koufaxes get out there. Complimentary dance lessons in the gazebo. And as you can see, that rock is no longer on that pathway where Wayne Knight, better known as Newman from Seinfeld, once walked. There's a merengue class in the gazebo in the next few minutes. Penny, who is one of Kellerman's dance instructors, a former Rockette, is teaching everybody the merengue. One, two, three, four. The guy in the yellow shirt and the blue socks, I am replicating with these sweet dance moves, as you can see right here. Am I embarrassed? Absolutely hell no. Now in this next shot, Baby is going up to the main house to look around. And as you can see, uh, the stairwell that she went down is no longer there. Uh, the cabin, although it's still the same, 
Uh, many of the aesthetics in front are different. Those rocks aren't there. There's a playground. Uh, she's there's the main lawn, as you can see. There's this giant swimming pool coming up. Nope. Okay. Well, it's almost coming up. So here we go. Let's pan down a little bit faster. No stone steps. I think that walkway is still the same. And bam, here we go. That is a swimming pool. Uh, and I stayed in the cabin off to the right, the top right little cabin uh, on the front lawn. Now, as baby is enjoying the nice view as the sun is going down. Uh, as you can see, the windows here are closed. Uh, and what she does, she walks in to hear Max Kellerman talking to the wait staff that he recruited from Harvard and Yale. Now, all the shots in the dining room, I tried to line up with the windows, the stone, because it's all the same 33 years later. But in this shot, I screwed it up. Because I was way too tall. Keep your fingers out of the water, your hair out of the soup, show the goddamn daughters a good time. All the daughters, even the dogs. Slap them out to the terrace, show them the stars. This is also where Baby sees Johnny, the camp's dance instructor for the first time, which separates class from the waiters from Harvard and Yale and the low, poor entertainment staff. Now this is the table where Baby and her family had dinner for the first night and I tried to line up the pillar because that's exactly the same. The light fixtures on the pillar are the same as well as the windows and doors in the background. And this is where Baby meets Kellerman's grandson, Neil, for the first time. Now after dinner, Baby goes for a stroll because she hears music, and she walks right behind the main building. And there's that red thing, uh, which is now this fence, which used to say staff quarters only. Uh, and she walks up the little path, but is actually walking to nowhere. Because the first part of this was filmed in Mountain Lake Lodge in Virginia. And the second part of the scene, when she walks up the path and finds Billy and carries the watermelon, was filmed down in Lake Lore, North Carolina. The next scene takes place on the front lawn near the lake of the Mountain Lake Lodge. And as you can see right now, oh, here in 2020, there is no water. Uh, but there is remnants of sand. Here you can see Robbie, the sleazeball waiter, hitting on baby sister Lisa. Uh, and I tried to line up with that V-shaped tree... Uh, the remnants of that scene. Later that night, everybody went down to the gazebo for a night of dancing under the moonlight. Uh, and those stairs are pretty much in the same spot as they once were. The gazebo is also pretty much the same, except uh, they put wood down on the floor. Uh, there used to be stairs leading down to the lake, which are now closed off. That is Johnny and the Bungalow Bunny, as you can see right there. Uh, I wanted to stand where the father stood in the gazebo, uh, as you can see right. Bam! There we go. That's a beautiful shot, as you can see. Uh, the next shot... Uh, Neil, the catch of the county, takes Baby down to the lake to schlep her and look out at the stars uh, to where, as you can see, the gazebo in the background in that shot. And then as Neil takes Baby up to the kitchen to get something to eat, uh, Baby notices Penny, uh, who's in trouble, so she goes and gets Johnny. Johnny helps Penny, as you can see right there, to find out that she is knocked up by Robbie, the waiter, who is a creep. Uh, so what Baby does is ask her father for $250 to where we come to this scene. This shot was filmed at the 16th green of the Bald Mountain Golf Course in Lake Lore, North Carolina. Uh, and in this specific scene, Baby comes to her dad to ask for $250 to pay for Penny's abortion. Uh, and, and it's a very difficult scene between father and daughter because Baby has never lied to her father before. He says, what is it, what is it for? $250 is a lot of money. Is it illegal? No, Daddy. It's not illegal. In order for Penny to accept the money for her procedure, Baby must fill in as Johnny's dance partner at the Shell Drake so Johnny and Penny don't lose their jobs by not making the performance. So this is where Johnny and Baby start practicing their dance routine because Baby sucks at dancing and they can't screw this up. Now the famous stairs where Baby's practicing her dance moves are located in Firefly Cove in Lake Lore, North Carolina, to which, boom, those are the specific stairs in that scene you just saw. These stairs, uh, there are actually two sets of stairs. Uh, I'm not sure specifically what they were used for in the movie, but... Boom, the sets of stairs are really only 50 feet apart. Uh, and right next to the, the second set of stairs uh, is actually the burned down gymnasium uh, to where they filmed that final dance scene. Now, I'm a little upset here and a little frustrated because I paddled nine miles in a kayak. All right, uh, we have a secret map. I'm currently uh, right there at that little line. That's the bridge. Okay, we're gonna, if I don't steer the damn kayak. Very beautiful. Uh, again, this is crazy. I just want to get the shot of the stairs and get out of this thing. I'm feeling a little nervous here, but we got this. All right, camera down. I definitely don't want to capsize, but I believe those are the steps right there. Boom. I don't want to drop my camera in the water, but Boom, dirty dancing stairs. Let's go back. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm sweating bullets here uh, because I went down the wrong damn straightaway. So I'm in a kayak in the middle of Lake Lore, but I just asked uh, a kind gentleman uh, and we'll get this. Here we go. Those weren't the fucking steps. All right, uh, I was rescued 
I must have paddled like nine miles. Couldn't find the steps, but sacrifice is what it's all about here for dirty dancing. Even though I don't really like the movie that much, but here we go. LA Beast in front of the dirty dancing stairs. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous here. Two great shots I wasn't expecting. Mark is the man. Johnny and Baby continue their dance moves, but after practicing 24 hours, seven days a week together, they get a little frustrated, uh, so they go for a ride. Johnny breaks the window because he locked his keys in the car. Bam, his window's broken, and they drive through this archway, which is exactly the same. The light fixtures are the same. The stones are the same. That red little bin off to the side, the white pipe is the same. Um, great shot. Now, as Johnny and Baby's dance at the shell drag draws near, they, they finalize all their preparations, including the big lift. Uh, and this is actually filmed at the Mountain Lake Lodge in the lake when it existed, uh, but the lake dried out back in 2006 to where, as you can see right here, uh, that tree right above my head is kind of the same, uh, as well as the, the background mountain drop. To where, uh, if you go there nowadays and you want to stand on those bricks, make sure you have good boots because uh, I ruined my good pair of shoes. F*** me. On the night of the big performance, Baby makes a few mistakes, but overall the performance goes well. When they get back, Johnny finds out that Penny's procedure went terribly wrong. So what Baby does is go gets her father, who's a doctor, who saves Penny's life. But in the process, he finds out that he funded an illegal abortion, to which he says Penny can no longer hang out with Johnny, to which she says absolutely not. And as you can see right there, they banged. The next morning, Dr. Hausman was so upset that Baby betrayed his trust that he said, we're leaving tomorrow to beat the weekend traffic, uh, to where Lisa, the daughter, was so upset as well uh, that she was going to miss the talent show. And all these shots were filmed right outside the dining room on the front terrace, overlooking the front lawn and Baby's cabin. Now, as Baby walks up to the building to practice the final dance of the season with Johnny, she bumps into the Schumachers, uh, who in fact are the ones who have been stealing everybody's wallets. As Baby and Johnny are practicing for the final dance of the season, to which Johnny has some great ideas to freshen things up, Neil, Kellerman's grandson, comes in and says they're going to be dancing to the Pachanga and shuts down Johnny's ideas. In this scene, which is filmed right behind the main building in Mountain Lake Lodge, which is supposed to lead up to Johnny's cabin, Baby encourages Johnny to stand up to Neil and tell him his ideas, but Johnny is considering joining the House Painters and Plasters Local Union 179 with his uncle. But then suddenly, Baby sees her father walk out the back door, and because she doesn't want to be seen with Johnny in front of her father, they crouch down and hide. To where at this point, Johnny calls out Baby, for encouraging him to stand up to Neil, but she can't even stand up to her own father. In the next scene, Johnny's approached by the bungalow bunny, whose rich husband is going to pay him a lot of money to sleep with his wife on this time before the summer's over, but he refuses, and he sleeps with Baby instead because he's in love with her. She sleeps with Robbie the Susie waiter, and the next morning she sees Baby leave Johnny's cabin. She's jealous, and then she blames the wallet stealing, not on the Schumachers, but on Johnny. To where Kellerman the next morning explains to the Houseman family how people's wallets have been missing uh, and, and he's about to go and fire Johnny uh, because the bungalow bunny uh, outed him as the wallet stealer. Uh, and then this is the big scene where Baby finally becomes an adult and says that he couldn't have stolen the wallets because she was with him all last night. This scene was shot at the gazebo to where, uh, again, the lake no longer exists uh, to where Baby says, I'm sorry I lied to you, but you lied too. I'm in this family too, and you can't keep giving me the silent treatment. If you love me, you have to love all the things about me, and I love you. And I'm sorry, Daddy, I let you down. But you let me down too. <laughs> uh, and then as you can see right here, Jerry Orbach started crying uh, to where I tried to recreate uh, his crying face to the best of my ability. And stay tuned at the end for some bonus footage from this scene. At this point, Johnny has just gotten fired, and he tries to explain to Dr. Hausman before he leaves uh, what's going on. He says, I know what you must be thinking. And Dr. Hausman says, you don't know anything about me. Anything at all. Uh, gives a nice mean mugshot there. Uh, and they get nowhere in this specific conversation, and Johnny takes off to, to where he, to this guy's standing there pissed off. To where now I'm standing there pissed off in the same spot. 33 years later. Feel a breath in my face, her body close to me. Can't look in her eyes, she's out of my league. Hey, Patrick Swayze wrote that song. Kellermans, we come together, singing all as one. We have shared another season's talent play. So that's, this is where the famous gymnasium was, where the dance scene happened. That's pretty cool. So if you, if you look, you see there's like a little drive. So this was, none, none of this was here. 
So that there's a little bridge right there. It was almost like just a walking space. Okay. And if you come over here, you can kind of see where the where the wall is, and then we need to beat it. Yeah, I think beating it. <laughs> yeah. So see the entrance. So I think that's where, I think that's where all the dirty the dirt you know the basement or wherever the hell they were. So they'd go up the hill, and then this is the entrance. <laughs> Where they're carrying watermelons or something into the... That's crazy. And then the, the, the floor, the gymnasium floor is actually at the Esmeralda Inn. Which I guess is not too far from here. That's right. Okay. All right. That's awesome. That's crazy. Here we go. The Esmeralda Inn and Restaurant. It's the truth, and I owe it all to you, cause I've had the time of my life, and I owe it all to you, I've been waiting So would you say Patrick Swayze touched at least one of these floorboards in your opinion? Oh, absolutely. He had to have. Yeah. That was actually pretty ridiculously hard. Was it? <laughs> Did yeah. You? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I think they said like he hurt his knee when he was doing it. And, oh, like... geez. All right. Uh, I'm just rewatching the scenes that I need to film from the movie Dirty Dancing, as you can see right here. Uh, this is where they enter Kellerman's and they see the beautiful lawn and baby's cabin, as you can see right there, which is actually right there. Uh, which is actually pretty cool. So there's the lake that doesn't exist. Uh, there's a little gazebo over there. Um, and I'm going to do my best to try and recreate the scenes from Dirty Dancing. You know what? This, this is B, B footage. All right, bonus footage. Uh, this is actually the point of view of the father uh, sitting in the chair uh, right before he cries. Uh, and he was staring off into the distance there, but it's actually right where... Um, they did the lift scene straight ahead, so I guess I don't know if that's metaphoric. I don't even think that's the right word. But that's what it is. It's actually pretty cool. Alright, I need new shoes now, f*** me. Alright, LA Beast here. Thank you very much for watching. I just wanted to say a quick message here uh, with everything going on in the world today uh, with these uncertain, difficult times. Uh, I wish from the bottom of my heart uh, nothing but health and safety for you and your families. I just want to let everybody know that it is my duty and responsibility to continue to create content uh, I guess while well, everybody is kind of stuck at home, quarantined, but I will do my best uh, to provide as, as best of quality content as I can for your enjoyment. And the one thing I've been noticing is that uh, our medical workers who are out there doing their best to try and help everybody in this stressful, crazy time, uh, they are running out of gowns, masks, and gloves. Uh, so if you have any gowns, Painter's masks, N95 painter's masks, gloves, etc. Uh, you can donate those to your local hospitals, uh, and I, I'm sure they could use them at this time. So all of us, hopefully, can remain safe and healthy. As further developments are rapidly changing day by day, uh, I'm just going to take everything one day at a time. 
Uh, and I'm going to keep a level, clear mind, um, and again, continue to create. Uh, maybe I'll do a couple live streams as well, just to hang out, shoot the shit, uh, and just make sure everybody's okay. So, so like I said, uh, if you can or, and are able to just stay at home, work from home, um, please do so. And stay safe. It's the LA Beast. Every single day. One day at a time. Have a good day.